PewDiePie, Mr. Beast, Dude Perfect, T Series, Justin Bieber, Elon Musk. And now that I have fooled the YouTube algorithm to get more views, let's get into the today's topic, which is why we don't accept the null hypothesis. This is a remake of an older video which I brought down because the information in it contains some mistakes that were brought to my attention. More details about that can be found in the description. Let's begin by supposing that you are on trial for a crime. And because you are watching this video, which is awesome by the way, I will let you pledge innocent. Which is spoiler alert, our new hypothesis that the court tries to falsify or reject in statistical terms. Fortunately for you, the court has not found enough evidence to prove that you are guilty. So does it mean that you are innocent? No. The court says that you are not guilty, which is different from being innocent. The same thing happens in statistics when we do not reject the null hypothesis due to the lack of evidence. There we say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis, which doesn't automatically make it true, and thus we cannot accept it. And why we do that? Well, because in logic there is something known as the argument from ignorance fallacy, which says that if we can't prove something, that thing doesn't automatically become true or false. Think about God, for instance. Just because we can't prove that it exists, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. So when we say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis, we mean that there may be other possible answers like the null hypothesis is true, the null hypothesis is false. We don't know if the null hypothesis is true. We can't know if the null hypothesis is true. So using the previous example, you could have committed a crime even though you were declared not guilty. And as a famous example of this, in the Michael Jackson child molest case, one of the jurors who voted not guilty stated publicly that she believed Jackson did a crime, but she felt that the government failed to prove guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. As always, I hope you got a better understanding of why we don't accept the null hypothesis. Please leave a like to this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to be up to date with the new content. And until next time, have an amazing time. Bye bye.